Good morning. Today, I will be going over identical sequences. I'll be going over both identical arithmetic sequences and identical geometric sequences. But first, let's start with what even is an identical sequence? Identical sequences are sequences in which all elements are identical. So sequences in which all elements, that means every single number within this, these sequences are identical. Seems like a lot of work to write out an entire sequence and then write out a second entire sequence and see if every single element is the same. So what we generally do is we compare their formulas. Um, and obviously with arithmetic sequences and geometric sequences, the formulas are different. Um, so that's why we break down identical sequences into the two types of sequences. So first let's look at arithmetic sequences. Identical arithmetic sequences are, oops, arithmetic sequences with the same initial term, same initial term, and common difference. So big words, I know, but think back to your formula for arithmetic sequences. It kind of looks something like this. A sub n equals a sub one plus d, which is the common difference, times n minus one. This is your formula. And what we're looking at is we're looking at the same initial term and the same D value. And if two sequences, two different sequences have that same initial term and D value, then we can say that they are identical sequences. And we see something very similar when we go down to geometric sequences. The geometric sequences are, I'm oh, sorry, identical geometric sequences are geometric sequences with the same initial term and common ratio. And so like arithmetic sequences, we will be using the formula for geometric sequences. And if you'll recall, that looks like this. A sub n equals a sub one times r to the power of n minus one. And we're looking for the same initial term and the same common ratio. So just like arithmetic sequences, if a geometric sequence has the same initial term and the same common ratio, so essentially the same formula, then we can say that they are identical sequences. And you might be thinking, well, duh, if they have the same, if they have all the same values, they're identical sequences, I can just look at the sequence and tell. But sometimes examples are not going to give you the entire sequence and they're gonna make you solve for it because math is funky like that. And so let's look at an example with arithmetic sequences. So, we have been given two arithmetic sequences, sequence A and sequence B, and we're, we've been given the fifth term and the seventh term for sequence A, and the first term and the D value for sequence B. Now, when you're first looking at this, you're like, I don't really know. Are these identical sequences? But with what you've just learned, what we can do is we can create the formula for both sequences. So we can create the formula for sequence A, and we can create the formula for sequence B. And if the two formulas are equal, if they're the same formula, then we have two identical sequences. A little confusing. Let's just walk through this problem together. So let's look at sequence A. I'm gonna do the work for sequence A in orange. Sequence A is going to be orange. 
So we know that the fifth term is 50 and the seventh term is 70. So let's first deal with the fifth term and then we'll get to the seventh term later. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in the information that we know into the arithmetic sequence formula that we have. So first let's write down the formula. And I'll write it down here. A sub N equals A sub one plus D N minus one. We know that the fifth term, so A sub five, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually write this here on the side. A sub five equals 50. And we know that N equals five. Okay, so we can plug these in. We can say 50 equals A sub one, which we do not have, plus D, which we do not have. But N minus one is four. And so we're going to rewrite this a little bit. We're going to rewrite this, just going to remove the parentheses. We're going to say 50 equals a sub 1 plus 4d. OK, we've got two unknown variables, a little, little weird. But let's try tackling the second equation, the second term in sequence A. We know that in this second term, a sub seven is 70 with n equals seven. And so we can say, I'm just gonna rewrite the original arithmetic sequence equation right here, just so everything stays consistent. So again, that's a sub n equals a sub one plus d n minus one. And so we can say that 70 equals a sub one, which we still do not have, plus D and N minus one is six. And again, I'm going to rewrite this to make it just a little cleaner by removing the parentheses. So 70 equals A sub one plus six D. So now we've got these two equations with two different unknowns and we're like, I don't know what to do. So we reach back into our math toolbox and we come up with systems of equations. It's weird to see these things out of context, but it'll be extremely helpful. So what we're gonna do is we're going to essentially plug one equation into the other because the unknown values that we have are the same because they're both from the same sequence. So we know that this equation on the left has the same initial term and the same D value as this equation on the right. So, we can solve, I'm gonna solve for A1 on this side and I'm gonna use a different color, I'm gonna use blue. So I'm gonna just subtract 6D from both sides and I'm going to say that 70 minus 6D is equal to A1. Now what I can do is I can take this equation that I just, rewrote a little bit and plug it in to this A value here. And so I can say that 50 equals 70 minus 6D. Actually, I'm gonna write this 50 in orange. It's a little easier to see. 50 equals 70 minus 6D plus 4D. And so essentially what I did was I just took I solve for a sub one on one in one equation and I'm plugging it into the other one. The substitution method, if you can recall. And so we're gonna solve like, no, solve like normal. We are going to subtract 70 from both sides. So 50 minus 70 is negative 20 equals negative 6D plus 4D. We know that negative 6D plus 4D is going to be negative 2D. So we're gonna say negative 20 equals negative 2D. Watch your negative signs. You're gonna divide both sides by negative two. So you're left with 10 equals, does this cross stuff? D. You found your common difference. And so now you're gonna take this fancy equation here and you're gonna apply it back into the other equation. So I am going to plug, I'm actually gonna write this in a different color. We're gonna do this in gray. 
Uh, let's go back to blue. We're gonna take this D value that you solve for right here, and you're gonna plug it in here. And so I'm actually gonna remove this line. But you know what I mean. So we're gonna have, I'm gonna do it down here. 70 equals A sub one plus, we have our new D, D value, just T, which is 10, I'm sorry, and six here. And so we're gonna do 70 equals A sub one plus 60. We're gonna subtract 60 from both sides. 70 minus 60 is 10 equals A one. And so what have you done? You found your A value, your initial 10, and you found your D value. And it just happened to be the same. And so we're gonna rewrite this into sequence A's formula. So we know that for sequence A, the just standard formula is going to be A sub N equals A sub one, which is our initial term, which we just solved for, which is 10, 10 plus the D value, which we also just solved for, N minus one. And so this is your first arithmetic sequence. Now we're gonna do the second one. I'm gonna do the second one in gray. But you know, in the second one, they gave you the initial term and they gave you the D value. So this is a lot less work. We can actually just plug these two terms into an arithmetic sequence equation. Let's do it. We can say that A sub N equals the initial term right here, the first term, which is 10, because this is just equal to A1, plus D, which we already know is 10, times n minus one. And this is a sequence for our second term. What do you notice? You notice that these two, I'm gonna highlight them for you. These two equations are identical. They are both a sub n equals 10 plus 10 times n minus one. That means that we can say I'm gonna write it in purple here. These two arithmetic sequences are identical. And there you have it, folks. When you're trying to figure out whether two sequences are identical, you're essentially looking to see if they're two formulas or those two sequences are the same. If those two formulas are the same, then we can say that these two sequences are the same.